The PS provider allows us to access the file system on our computer. If you are on a network, then you can also access the file system of remote computers, even without mapping drives. Let's say you need to get a directory listing of the contents of a directory on a remote drive. All you need to do is use the get child item commandlet. In my lab, I'm on the computer Serenity, and I have another computer, in this case my server, called Star Destroyer. So, if I want to get a listing of the contents of the ctemp directory, all I need to do is type in get child item backslash backslash star destroyer backslash c dollar sign backslash temp and press enter. In this command, for the path, we are using backslash backslash to specify the computer name. Then the c dollar sign is what's called a hidden or administrative share. It is always on a Windows workstation or server by default for each drive letter. And then, the rest is just normal pathing that you are used to in the file system. Now, let's say we want to export this output to a CSV file. All we need to do is run the same command and then pipe it to export-csv, c colon backslash temp, backslash star destroyer file list.csv, and press enter. Now, if I do a get child item c colon backslash temp, you can see the file is there. And if I do get content c colon backslash temp backslash star destroyer file list at CSV, you can see I have the full output from the remote server. We can go on, of course. Let's say you want only the last write time and the name of the objects. We can take the same command and in the middle we can add select object last write time, comma, base name, and then we will get only those two properties in the final file. You can see that if I do get content, c colon backslash temp, backslash star destroyer file list, dot csv command again.